Hello and welcome everybody. This is Will, the Spectral Evolver. Thanks for tuning in. This is a follow-up and companion video to the previous one I made regarding the sound design of the boiling soup. And just as a refresher, we had uh, taken three samples, brought them into Kima here, replicated them ten times, so there's ten copies that end up being mapped to the iPad so they can be performed in real time. Now the takeaway from this video is not so much the, the boiling soup sound or anything like that, but the underlying structure of the whole sound and how if we just change our source material to another sample, we can get radically different results. So that's what I want to show you here. I'm going to take this same structure and just replace the boiling soup samples with a sound I really love, which is balloons. So here there's a few more samples, but it's okay. 44 to be exact. So just to give you an idea of what some of them sound like, I'll play a few of them. Got some lower sounds. Okay, you get the idea. So I basically just ran the gamut, recorded a bunch of balloon sounds, high sounds, low sounds, um, short, long, um, obnoxious, pretty much everything you can imagine. Edited it down into what I thought was the most interesting tidbits and ended up with 44 individual files here all in the same folder okay so this is what our sound looked like before the boiling soup this is what it looks like now with the balloon okay so i've got everything the same you can cross reference here and see that all i did was change Boiling Soup 01, the file name here, to RC Balloon 01, and then code it a bit here so that it'll grab all the other folder, all the other samples in that same folder, and then change the size. This will return a number here 44, and that's what we'd expect because that's how many samples are in that folder. All right, so again, every time a finger goes down, one of those 44 samples will be randomly grabbed. All right, so let's hear first what the soup sounds like, just as a reminder. All right, here's what that same sound structure sounds like with balloons. Okay, so you can hear <laughs> pretty crazy uh, intense sound, all right? But it's just a, a concept here that we've built this structure, and if we change the source, you can get, uh, uh, again, radically different results. So just one more example that's pretty cool is uh, this one, which... does the same thing again, same sound structure, only now uh, sounds from my dishwasher door opening and closing. All right, so just to play a few of those and what they sound like. This, I uh, came up with 26 individual samples that I liked. All right, so there's our dishwasher samples. Again, they come over here, dishwasher one, the first one, and then I instructed to grab all the other samples in that folder. All right. 
and I adjust the size, the index to be the size of that folder. So we'd expect to see 26. There's 26 there. There's 26 samples in this folder. Let's hear what the dishwasher sounds like. Cool. So now check it out. You've got all these sounds individually, but we can step it up a level here. And what if we brought them all into a grid and now we can play them all on top of each other. Or maybe I just want the soup and the balloons or the balloons and the dishwasher, or I can do the dishwasher and the soup, whatever. This is just an organizational medium or structure here within Kima called the multi-grid. And so I'll just play you a couple different options here. So soup. Soup with balloons. Soup with dishwasher. All right, so that's, this is a sound design method that I really, really enjoy building this structure and then just throwing in a new source, source sample and, and uh, hearing what happens. And then if I want to fine tune, I can go back to some of these other parameters and adjust accordingly. But uh, it's very cool to be able to just change one thing and, and get all these different results. So um, another video I'd made uh, probably a couple months ago now, it's just the sounds of these things. I didn't explain how I did it, but that's uh, a weapon, uh, weapon FPS type sound that you can watch uh, unfolding in real time. And this is the exact method I used actually. The balloons and the dishwasher on top of each other. Um, so it, it's a really cool technique that offers a lot of flexibility and, uh, and just from creating one initial sound, you can get a whole bunch of other ones. So it pays you dividends to spend time to build one sound and uh, get a whole bunch from them. So I hope this, hopefully this is a little bit useful to you as a concept. And uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, like, subscribe, ask questions. Um, and we'll be revealing more and having more talks like this uh, on the channel. Thanks so much.